What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Tar Heel Illustrated. Dot com. I'm Jacob Turner. He's Andrew Jones, and I know AJ's in Keenan, the Keenan football, well, the press box at the Keenan Stadium right now. But this is a basketball drop. I mean, not a basketball drop. It's a basketball. I'm actually, in the, <laughs> I'm actually, I'm not in the press box per se. I'm in the press box, but the media is that's working right over there. I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right behind you. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually. I'm actually in the coach's box right now. I'm about to say it's open air. So I can tell you it's something like that. Which I probably, that's okay if I'm here. They're okay, cool if I'm Yeah, 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 yeah nobody there, stuff. nobody in that stadium anymore, at least up in that press box beside a couple of media members. So By the time I get over there, since this is our third podcast that we're doing mm-hmm. here today, everybody might be gone there. Yeah, you, you might be the only one left. You're absolutely right about that. And don't have a ton of daylight. We're recording this about 745 at night. Um, so we're going to put this one out on Saturday as well, a little bit later. Also did a football thing, uh, football podcast from the spring game. Go check that out as well. But we're here to talk about Harrison Ingram. Obviously, the news came out earlier on Saturday that Harrison Ingram has declared for the NBA draft. Obviously, only played one season. North Carolina averaged 12.2 points, 8.8 rebounds per game. Also led the conference with 10.9 boards per game. Um, and I believe it was a second team all ACC for him um, as well. Third team or second team? Uh, third, I can't third, team yeah, third team all ACC. Third team all ACC. So had a, had a really nice season at Carolina. It was obviously integral to a lot of Carolina success, including the ACC regular season title. So we're just going to talk about him real quick, kind of what it means for next year's team. I do think it's incredibly interesting that Ingram left. I, I tweeted out, I don't think it's necessarily a surprise. We talked about there was always a possibility that he could go to the league, and I think it – when you look at all the guys that could go to the league and that are going to the league, he heck, he might be, you know, the guy who might get drafted the highest as well. So I don't think it's a, a necessarily a surprise there. But what are your thoughts on the Ingram news? And I know you've obviously very well connected inside the program, heard some scuttlebutt about this before. I'm assuming you weren't surprised with the news either, right, Edge? Since the season ended and the I the idea of thinking of okay, what's gonna happen to the roster? Uh I have not awakened once any morning thinking, hmm, maybe Harrison Ingram's coming back. So we've never thought that. Mm-hmm. We have, David's been really good at actually giving percentages, uh, you know, 60, 40, 70, 30, or something like that, even 90, 10. In fact, as soon as the season ended, our understanding is his dad started looking for agents, looking for an mm-hmm. agent. Like, Interesting. The next day, basically. And it was early on, it was 90, 10. And then it started to shrink down, but I never, I, I had, I, first of all, I do a lot of off season content in advance and I've done no Harrison Ingram off season content. Mm. What I've done is we do have a Harrison Ingram season piece. that's going to come out. Where we just synopsize the season and do deep dive with the stats and the effect on him doing certain things statistically on how it affected wins and losses. We will have that because we're doing that on all the uh, rotation guys. But I have no story that I've written about an off-season feature or here Harrison Ingram's five best games and what they mean moving forward, nothing like that, because I have not once thought that he would be back. So uh, the, the one question that, that both Dave and I had and wondered was, would he announce he's entering the draft but maintain his eligibility? And now I haven't done anything on Harrison Ingram since I posted the story this morning or early afternoon this morning because I came here to the spring game and I've been football oriented all day but he I don't think he hasn't kept them so there's I've seen nothing that says he has his initial Mm -hmm. release was didn't say he's maintaining his eligibility I would think he's a smart guy I know he's a smart guy and if he was he would have had it in there so I see no reason to believe that there would be any uh, surprises about that so he's gone Mm-hmm. And it'll be very interesting to see where he goes. He's gotten people in his ear that think that he has a chance to be late first round. Everything I'm seeing is mid second round to possibly the very end of the first round. Even as a top half second round guy, he would probably get some guaranteed money, get a two way mm-hmm. contract and try to work his way into the league. I don't think he'd make as much money doing that as he would coming back to North Carolina, but it's his decision. Uh, maybe he thinks it's time to see how his game translates at the next level and go from there, start that pro career now. 
Yeah, no, I agree. It wasn't a big surprise. Exactly kind of what we expected. And again, I think out of everybody that even with RJ, even if RJ ends up going, I do think Ingram probably has the potential to get drafted higher based on what we've kind of seen so far. And because it looked completely different player than RJ and, and other guys on, that are going to be in the draft too. But last thing, because we're not going to go too long on this. There's not a, we could, you know, sit here for hours talking about, well, it might mean this and it might mean that. Now they're getting this guy. I might go look at that guy. What, I just want to ask you real quick, what it, what do you think it means? Because you did a drop earlier this week talking about wings that Carolina have already, you know, we know for a fact that they've contacted or have been looking at. Heck, even some have crystal ball predictions for whatever you want to take out of those for, for potentially coming to Carolina now. So what do you think it means for North Carolina? We knew they were targeting wings anyway. I mean, Harrison Ingham fits that bill. They got five scholarships open right now. A lot of opportunity to add to that roster, which means, you know, another big roster revamping coming this offseason. But what do you think his departure specifically means? for North Carolina? That's a, those are big shoes to fill because mm -hmm. Harrison did so many things to help them win games. Yeah, he was The, he the was thing that I man. really – One of the things I, I admire so much about his game is that he could go three for 13. He'll still put the shots up because they're there. He was never a shot forcer. He's a, he's a shot taker. The shot's there, you take the shots, which you're supposed to do. But he wouldn't, he never let not seeing the ball go through the basket affect his game. His rebounding was relentless. There were games where he came up with some block shots. I think it was maybe Pitt. He didn't play well in DC and he had some block shots there. Um, his defense at times was outstanding. His, the way he flowed, the way he forced defenses to honor him. And, and respect him. He allowed other things to happen on the court because everybody knew that he could maybe not drive conventionally, but if he gets the ball and starts to back you in, unless you have great help side defense that is quick and someone that can quickly recover, Harrison has a chance of scoring in the lane. Mm -hmm. And I think that that really made this team very interesting, made them unique, made them very difficult to challenge for. There was nothing cookie cutter about any of the eight guys in the, in the main eight guys in the rotation. And I think Harrison was sort of unlike anybody else out there. He's a guy with, with some NBA potential in certain aspects of his game who also has an old man's game. Yeah. And he used to drive teams. Uh, he used to give him fits with mm -hmm. that. Then he'd rebound the hell out of them. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody on this team frustrated opponents and got into the skin of opponents more than Harrison. You and I have talked for years about championship team needs teams need screw you guys. In another world, you might say another word instead of screw. <laughs> you need those kind of guys on your roster. Mm -hmm. Harrison was one of those guys. That's yeah. why he affected victories. Even the nights we scored five points, had nine rebounds. He still affected the game in so many other ways. And what you're looking at in the portals, people are looking at statistics. They're looking at shooting percentages. But how are the, it's going to be incredibly difficult for Hubert to find a couple of guys in the portal that can bring to this team the kind of intangibles that Cormac Ryan did and that Harrison Ingram did. Harrison especially because he dips his hands into a lot of statistical baskets. Mm -hmm. And it's almost as if whatever basket he really needed to sink his hand into that night to get a win, he would, whether it was a six-assist game because he needed to be a facilitator, whether mm -hmm. it was this is the night he hits five threes, whether it was, hey, 19 rebounds, uh, what was it, 19 rebounds in NC State. I think he went six points and 19 rebounds that night. <laughs> Whatever you have to do. So replacing him is going to be really tough. It's not just this scoring and rebounding stats. It's how he went about it. It's the way he affected the other four people on the floor and the other team as well. Mm -hmm. So that's that's going to be a very, very difficult fill job for, for Hubert. Mm -hmm. And there are guys out there, you know, they could be. They'll be different. You don't have to get a guy like Harrison, but they need some of that edge. Yeah. And I thought it was fascinating when I heard people who have watched this sport for years and covered it and say, boy, North Carolina's got an edge this year. Because that's not always been the case. Mm -hmm. And I think Harrison was as responsible for the team having an edge as anybody on the roster. Yeah. Yeah. Led the team in steals as well. I mean, we called him Mr. Intangibles for a reason. I mean, that's a perfect way to summarize him. He just he did a little bit of everything out there and he impact always impacted games. I know he 
maybe wasn't as great as Carolina needed him to be in the postseason. I feel comfortable saying that because I said that during the postseason. Well, I didn't think Cormac Ryan was as good as he needed to be for Carolina to be successful in the postseason as well. But major butt here. I thought he was fantastic. I thought he was integral to Carolina's success last year. And I do agree with you. Replacing him directly, I don't – I'm not sure you can directly replace him in the portal. I know you can replace him. No, you're just going to have can, to be I don't different. Know if you can die, like, like for like, I don't know if that's out there. Maybe it is. I don't know. There's a lot of players out there. but And that's why Hubert – the team's just going to be different. And yeah, and that's fine. Yeah, nothing wrong with and that. And we'll see. That's that's the next challenge for Hubert. By the way, Cormac was good in the NCAA tournament. He struggled in the ACC tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Harris, Harrison, Harrison was kind of up and down a little bit with, with the point production. But if RJ goes one for nine, they advance. If RJ makes that, uh, Armando hits that. Clemson, and, just, you know. <laughs> and then they beat Clemson, and you know, then they if get and mauled, buds, right? And then they get mauled by UConn. Yeah, I better say I said it all off season. I, mean, I said it all during the tournament, AJ, and I was half joking, half serious. Like nobody's beating UConn. It doesn't matter. All this NC State talk. Nobody's beating UConn. Yeah. It doesn't matter. And again, Harrison, by the way, UConn. in the game against UConn, Harrison had twenty points up at MSG. Yeah, yeah, and that game at Duke he is well. That's it. my fondest well, memory of it, probably. Home against Duke, he went for 20, 20 and, and twelve or something, it's and so then good. he went for fourteen and ten at Duke. Yeah, he he, he stepped up. Yeah, he did. He, he's a very smart guy, very smart, very mature, understands his limitations. So he's got a shot at making it. I think there's some other guys in this team that can make it the next level that might not get drafted. I don't judge as much stuff on the draft anymore because there are inherent biases in the draft. But um, I, I don't think any other decisions in the program are affected by Harrison's de- decision. I figured I would bring that up because people are going to ask. If anybody might pull their name out of the portal and come back, oh, oh God, because Harrison's that rumor, gone, is that rumor circulating? Or, or will RJ decide? Well, gosh, I don't have Harrison out there, so I can't play here anymore. Or more shots for me because Harrison's not there. These are individual decisions. Mm-hmm. These are all individual decisions. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. And we'll again, see. we'll we'll see what happens. I mean, it's still RJ Davis still got to make a decision. AJ got to see what happens with him too. Who knows when that'll come out? But you think sooner rather than later, but you never know. Well, since we're on it, I think within 10 days, y'all don't know what you're going to do. I I did a drop a week ago saying RJ has earned the right to take all the time he needs at the same time. He's got a, he's got, I I think he should feel a sense of uh, responsibility to let the program know. Mm Mm-hmm. Sooner rather than later, the portal closes in ten days. A good point. Days basketball, ten days in football. You could still get guys after the portal closes, and that's what will probably happen. But you know, the the the, uh, the hourglass, the, the the sands of the hourglass. Is that what they're called? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of sand, and there's not as much sand in there now as there was a while ago. So I think yeah. Hubert would like to get on with building the 20, 24, 25 team. So I'm sure RJ will announce pretty soon. Yeah, I would RJ think so. RJ understands these things. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I would, I would think so. He probably already knows what he's doing. If we're being honest, just hadn't announced it yet. So we'll see what happens, man. He's, been a, he's been a little. He's reemerged on Twitter. Been a little active. Yeah, he's been a little active, man. And you never know. And then the Trimble rumors rolling everywhere. I know there's potential legs in that. I mean, you know. I, I, I am commenting on that on our message boards. Go I'm not over. going there with that stuff. Eight thirty three. Right I'm not AJ. doing it. 833. Look, this is a this is a business. We have we do this for a living, so we've got to be able to pay for it. But at the same time, I'm not ready to put anything on this kind of forum about that. I, mm-hmm. I'm okay doing it on our private uh, premium subscriber only message board. Yeah, I always I had people on Twitter yesterday being like, "No, Trimble's coming back." Because I tweeted something about like something about departures and everything. And 15 people, no, Trimble's he's 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 coming back, and I'm like. Okay, we're, we're, I mean, he might be, but like, that's not official yet. So why are you telling? You know, the rumors are swirling, swirling right now. I don't want to be an ass, but there's only a few outlets that cover UNC people should pay attention to for stuff like that. Yeah, we're one of them. Well, and when I and see stuff a, like that, I I, and I, and I don't want. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm really not. I know, it, I know that, that stuff comes from rumors on message boards. I just it's, it's, it's it, but that's it's all over the place and then yeah. then, when, then if it ends up happening we report ah we had it long before those guys yeah it's there's a, such a different level of responsibility that we have mm-hmm. handling in the information that we get and how we discern 
and then craft and then deliver to our readers. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a process and there's, there's a learned over time skill that you have to accumulate and develop in order to be able to do that. So mm -hmm. I get information about Seth Trimble, for example, or just use this as an example, and I put it on the board, but I would be a fool to put it here because people are gonna misinterpret and run with it a certain way and think, well, that guy said this when that guy didn't really say that. Yeah, yeah, so. oh, I, yeah, it happens all the time. So no, if you wanna learn more about the Trimble situation, 833 a month, links in the description below. And if you're already a premium subscriber, you've already probably seen AJ's comments about it in the message board. So that's the perks of being yeah. a part of the message boards, man. That's what, that's the stuff you get, especially in the off season. Tons of portal talk, tons of you know football recruiting, basketball recruiting stuff going on. If you want those inside inside information, Sorry, but you got to pay for it. I mean, that it's a business at the end of the day. We can't give away all our information for free. That's we got to. We do give it. some stuff away here on the channel. Yeah, especially on the especially on these podcasts. But you know, some stuff like Trimble. Like, if you want to learn me, more about. Let it, me tell you one up. last thing. Let me tell you one last thing. I did this on the drops the other day too. So, Tuesday, Wednesday, we had Mac, and it was like a pre-spring game press. It was 48, 50 minutes. Yeah, Mac. It gives us a long time. It's great. Great access gives us a lot of information. One of the things that we got was about the portal, what they're going to look for in the portal. They threw the quarterback nugget in there. And I go, oh, well, I, I'm, I can't wait till I get home to write this. I got to stop off somewhere and write it. So I stopped off at a fast food place right outside Chapman. Know. You know, I know where that's we're, at. Not gonna, we're not going to name it. And I went in there and I got a burger and a, and a large diet drink. You got to work in there. You got to order something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, 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 I didn't eat the bread. I ate the inside. And... Too much T TMI, Dad. That's what my, my daughter would say. <laughs> TMI, Daddy. TMI, Daddy. So um, it was over $10 for one sandwich and one drink. Remember what, a couple of years ago when you and I would talk about 833 a month? We'd say, well, it's almost like you're going through a drive through Oh, it's. Yeah. Oh, we do. It. Other than Happy Meal, every meal is more expensive than. A month of THI for one year subscription. I got a coffee. So this ten morning. bucks for that. Six fifty. Get a coffee for six fifty yeah. this morning. Yeah? Six fifty, and that's not even that expensive. That's like normal in today's world. And granted, it was a pretty big one, but still, like it's eight thirty a month. Man, it hasn't changed in ten years since AJ took over the site. Come on, guys, just sign up again. And there's a ton of inside information, access to our message boards, great community over there. Our community's been absolutely on fire. Um, just come sign up, man. And again, I always say this. this is the last thing I'll say. I always say this: the more money we make on the website. The more, more stuff we can do overall, the more content you're going to get. Okay. So it, it's all beneficial. It's not like, oh, we'll make more money. We'll do less. The more subscribers we'll get, we'll do less content. It's not how it works over here at Tarlow Show. Uh, so come sign up. Let's do it. Links in the description. Jake, Jacob, kn Jacob knows how I roll. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know, man. Give back to the he, – he, he, trust me, the more money we make, the more content we'll be pumping out. That That's how it works in AJ's mind, no doubt about it. So, My wife is somewhere going, don't subscribe. <laughs> yeah, please. Please unsubscribe now. <laughs> so AJ can, can stop Go doing so much content. <laughs> no, guys, we, we appreciate our awesome community, and we, we want to keep it growing. So, I mean, tell your friends, like, share, comment, subscribe. Well, you can't comment, but like, share, subscribe. Do whatever you please. We just want to get our name out there a little bit more. We appreciate you guys as always. I've been Jacob Turner. He's been Andrew Jones. It's getting dark. It's almost dark in my house. It's almost dark behind you. So we ended this at a, about the right time. Three podcasts. Cool, doesn't it? Yeah, man. Looks great. Beautiful. Beautiful day in Chapel Hill today, man. A little cloudy, but you know, it, I thought it was pretty good. The sun came out during the scrimmage, so it ended up being really nice. So yeah, nice, nice day on the hill. And uh, I guess the uh, off season officially starts today, AJ. Right? All right. For them, not us. <laughs> yeah, not us. That it never ends over here. Three hundred sixty-five days a year. Five or so days. I got my anniversary Tuesday, so. No, oh, nice. Man, congrats, myself. man. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, take uh, a little time off for that. Years. Oh, no, nice, man. Uh, the, I'll take the evening off. You can close I won't make that twenty uh, mark. Yeah, heck yeah, man. Love yeah. that. Twenty-one years that, since we met. Nineteen marriage. Nice, man. Hey, congrats she she on deserves. That. She deserves like. A, some kind of metal for that. That's big time. That's big time. My one year is in about a, two weeks, give or take a few. Two and a half wow. weeks. Time flies, man. Time flies when you're having fun. So I'll hit that 20 mark at some point. I got a long way before that. But yeah, guys, appreciate it as always. We're going to head out of here. We've been doing pods for the last hour and 20 minutes. AJ's probably got 17 stories he's got to write. So I'm going to let AJ go. I'm going to go edit these pods and we'll get these things pumped out for you guys. Appreciate it as always. And uh, see you all next time. Thanks. Thanks.